Hey guys, it's your girl Caitlin, and welcome to another episode of Never Alone. And in the last episode, we just escaped the polar bear and got swallowed by a whale, so we're now inside a whale. I'm gonna reach air. So maybe that's why they didn't drown. There were places that had no water. All the time. There. Watch a substance lifestyle. In, you know, Arctic Alaska, hunting is a really important part of life. It's not just about going and shooting something, it's about going and putting food on the table. But more importantly, you know, subsistence hunting isn't just about the insular family unit, it's about feeding the whole community. And I think that's one of the beautiful things about subsistence hunting in Alaska is that people go out and they'll go get, you know, fish or they'll get a caribou and they'll get, you know, seals and whales. and one of the first things they'll do is they'll say, oh, I need to take this to the elders. This isn't just about one individual surviving or one family surviving, it's about the whole community. We didn't just go out and kill and put, and put in a freezer. It's like a ritual that I learned from my parents. It's, it's all about relationship. I don't know, I, I think there's, there, there's a lot of camaraderie involved. Uh, and, and, and just being out on the land or being out on the ocean, it's like getting back in tune. I'd rather be out there. To me, once I go out there, it's the world that I learned from. Hmm. We missed one, a girl and her Nahu. Was there an owl we missed in the last episode? Aw, oh, man. Or maybe it's just around here somewhere, of co but of course we're not going to find it like right off the bat. We can't jump while we swim, that sucks. X to swim faster. That's so, that's so Foxy can get up. Whoops, I messed up. Is Zella like some kind of spirit caller? Because I've come to notice that the spirits uh, arrive every time Luz, uh, Luz, uh, every time Foxy is near them. up this way. Nothing. But Zilla's, but Luke Foxy's glowing, is there something here? Yeah.
Feel this way, spirit. Did I get the thing? Let's go back up. Why can't it just like follow me down? And well it is, but just very slowly. Can it, can Nuna like get that? Best to jump back. Oh. Bones. I'm starting to like these spirits. They're very nice. And is that dude gonna come down? This way is Nuna. And was there like a spirit? Huh. No! Wrong timing. Maybe if we like put Foxy in the middle. It'll then show both spirits. Well, aren't I clever? Uh. Run timing. Oh, the way the foxy whines when I die, it's sad. wall thing. Drop no, uh, drop boxy. 
and just climb up. Hang there. Oh, she can actually make it. Now I know. Genius. Let's just turn around. And go. There's an owl here. Probably. Okay. Everything is aligned. We spend all our time out in nature. You get very intimate with the world. And over time, if you're living that life, you start to sense that everything has a spirit. There's a consciousness in everything. Everything is alive. If everything is alive, then, then we want to respect it. And if we're going to use it, we want to use it respectfully. What I try to tell my nephews and nieces, you know, you love to hunt, you have to take care of the animals that you catch, preparing the food and eating the food that you catch. Water provides you. The ice brings you life. It provides all those things that you need to be a part of your life. That was something I grew up with. I grew up respecting the animals. I grew up respecting the land. And that, to me, that is why we as Inupiaq, as an Inupiaq culture, as an Inupiaq people, is why we're so successful. I must have missed an owl in the last episode. Great. Foxy, keep up. How do we get up there? Can we go up here by any chance? Go, Luna.
Can I not like jump on the wall while the thing is there? Or can I just like not reach the wall? There we go now. Uh. Wait. Oh no. Now I know what we need to do. Swimming is annoying. Now we break the sign. The girl and fox were blown out through the blowhole. They were, were thrown in high into the air, like they were falling into the sky. The girl and fox washed up. One day he wondered what a uh, what a uh, what is causing the weather to be like this anyway. Well, we're going to leave it at there, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you I really enjoy this game, but it's a shame I missed one of the one of the ins insights. Like, like, uh, like in the last episode, I couldn't see any other owls or I couldn't see any owl that could give me the insight. So I have no idea where that owl was. Well, we're actually going to leave it here. So if you did, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Peace, love, 